So back in the day, I used to play a game called Custom PC Tycoon, which was a practical game where you buy PC components and then building your very own PC out of it. And I was like, what if there would be a game like this, but with cars? So the gameplay will be pretty simple. You go into a store, buy some things, then you will go back to your workshop, build your car, and then you can sell it or do something else with it. And after selling it, you go back to the store, and then you can buy better things to build better cars. And you can also upgrade your workshop. Cool, huh? Okay, so the first thing I did is I set up the plot system, then I made this really cool effect that will point towards an empty plot. After that I made this workshop and then I hopped into Blender and I made a few models. And then I started making a car model and I mean it looks alright. Anyways, I got this car model from the toolbox which looks much better. And then I made this UI. I know, it looks pretty bad but don't worry, we will fix it later. So now if we go into our workshop, we can place down our car and then we can customize it. After that I made this garage, then I made a few more models and then I remade the workshop. And I mean look at that, Mwah. perfect. Next I added 3 more car models which are also from the toolbox <laughs> and I also did the ability to paint parts of the car. You can also enter the garage where you will be able to see your car... It's not working. And when you enter the garage you can see your cars here. After that I made this workbench, made some UIs, and then I made a few more wheel models and I also made some side mirrors. So now if we go ahead and open the workbench we can now see the images of the items and when we are done with our car we can name it and then we can sell it. After that I made this dirt pile cause the plot was literally just a cube. Yeah. After that I made these three models, then I blocked out the map, put down some plots, then I put down some roads and a store, then I put down some trees and lastly some hills. After that I made the inside of the store and now if we go into the store we can buy some items. Next I added this cutscene when claiming the plot. But the game has a major problem because we can't really spend our money on anything besides car parts. So we need to add some upgrades. So first I made this painting machine thing. And after doing a little bit of coding, this is how it turned out. We can buy the paint machine and we can also buy a concrete as a decoration. And if you have the paint machine unlocked, then we will be able to paint the car. If you look at the screen, you can see that it looks a bit empty because it is empty. So I added these buttons and a cash counter. For now, the frames are just placeholders because none of this is functional, like the rest of the game. F okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to add data saving to the game because right now your progress doesn't really save, which is a bit of an issue, but how the f do you save data? Well, it's actually pretty simple. You just save the data like, let's say, cache when the player leaves the game and then load it back when it joins the game. So data stores can only save values like, let's say, numbers. So saving the cache is pretty easy. But how the f*** are we going to save a whole ass car? Okay, so after coding for like two f days, I managed to make the data store work for everything, so now if I build a car and then leave the game and then join back then it should be in the car... Uh, uh, okay, so the next thing we will add, spoiler alert, it's spoilers! <laughs> so I hopped into Blender and I made these models, but to put spoilers on your car you will need a level 2 workbench. After that I added Billy. Because, uh, uh, so Billy will randomly come to your workshop and paint something on the wall.
Oh, Billy, what the f***? You can also remove the paintings and you will get some cash for it. Next, I added a limit to the inventory because running around with a few tons of car parts is a bit strange. I mean, where does all the stuff go? You know what I mean? You can also upgrade your storage to get more inventory space. Okay, so when I'm selling the car, it just disappears, which isn't really healthy. So I hopped into Blender and I made this truck model. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? And then I did a bit of coding, and here it is in action. After that, I added a tutorial, so you dummies will know how to play the game. Next, I added a few more upgrades and lastly I made a logo for the game, which is totally not inspired by any other logo. In the next video, we are going to be adding a lot of new upgrades, NPCs, new customizations and more, so stay tuned for that. If you have any ideas or suggestions for the game, then let me know in the comments or in the Discord server. And also, I usually post sneak peeks in the Discord server, so make sure to join, the link will be in the description. And I also have a tutorial channel where I just posted a tutorial recently, so make sure to check it out. But anyways, make sure to like and subscribe. Bye.